The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Are you one of the 24 million Americans who suffers from a constant runny nose, continuous sneezing, or chronic congestion, like our guest Dora? Hi, Doc. I've dealt with runny nose and congestion for years. I've tried sprays, medications, solutions, and everything. Nothing helps. I just want to be able to breathe again. Is there any other option? Please help me. Here with a freezing fix is otolaryngologist Dr. Brian Weeks and his patient Dora. Dr. Weeks, this is really fascinating to me. You're going to freeze away Dora's congestion? How, how do you do that? The procedure itself is innovative in that we use a technology to freeze a specific part of the nose where the nerves that go to the mucus producing glands come into the nose. So they just happen to be very easy to get to in an easy location. And the technology allows us to freeze those very quickly, which disrupts their ability to make mucus. So it's an ideal treatment. And for somebody like Dora, who's suffered so much, I think it's gonna be an ideal therapy for her. Well, Dr. Weeks, this is a, a game breaker here because other than medications, we had trouble treating what we called either non-allergic or vasomotor rhinitis. Definitely, real quickly, I mean, the best part about this therapy is that it doesn't matter what the cause of the rhinitis is. So the study that was done for FDA approval showed that this technology actually works in both allergic and non-allergic patients with equally good results. Mm. Well, Dr. Weeks, take it away. Go ahead and get started and you can kind of describe what you're doing as you go about it. Excellent, so basically, just so everyone knows, the viewing audience knows, I've anesthetized Dora's nose already, um, and I've used a topical anesthetic only. So I'll just show everybody kind of what things look like inside. So we have a piece of cotton inside of her nose sitting in the area where we're gonna treat. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here with a specific instrument just to check Dora's level of anesthesia. And basically, we're gonna go back, and this is the area where those nerves come into the nose. It's on the side wall of the nose. And Dora, do you feel anything right there, dear? No. Okay, so Dora's really, really well anesthetized, and the key is getting back far enough to where those nerves come out. So that's right, right where it is. So I'm gonna take my device, I'm gonna place it inside the nose, and I've adjusted it so that it's ready to go. And we're gonna do, uh, the placement of the technology is probably the most important part of the treatment. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the device in the back of the nose so it's sitting right where we want it to sit now where those nerve endings come in. And then I'm gonna turn on the freezing component. And you'll see it. And you can see the ice crystals will form and we're gonna get what we call an ice ball. So see the ice forming? And it's actually going down to about four millimeters of depth in the nose, right where those nerve endings come out. You can see ice forming on the device. And this device will actually get to minus 60 degrees uh, at the peak treatment. And so we're approaching halfway through the treatment. Dora, do you feel anything? No. She doesn't feel anything. And that's the power of the, the local anesthesia. But you know, really exciting. We're watching the technology work. We're watching the ice crystals form. Um, we're coming down to the last five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. We'll turn the device off. And then what I'll have Dora do is breathe in through her nose and you'll actually see the thawing effect on the device, which I think is really neat. I, I try to let the patients observe and you can see the, the effect on the tissues, uh, the freezing effect. And so you know, the, t the therapy is extremely safe because it's very controlled. We know exactly how cold the technology will get and we know exactly how deep it'll treat. So uh, just, a, just a beautiful, beautiful example of modern innovation and modern technology. And again, we don't treat patients with this until they've been treated with medications, but just a wonderful uh, new tool for our patients that suffer. And there's so and many people who Dr. suffer. Dr. Weeks, I have to say that one of the more fascinating procedures we've profiled on the show because of how quickly it yeah. works